Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to do the integration from 1 to 2, tan sine x over x dx by Simpson rule with tan 3. In this case, n is equal to 10, a equal to 1, b equal to 2, and the width h is b minus a over n, which is 2 minus 1 over 10, which is 0 0.1. So in this case, we are going to construct a table, starting from a equal to 1, then 1.1, then 1.2, then 1.3, all the way to 2. So to do this, let me use a calculator. Since our function have a sign x, so we must make sure that our mode is in gradient mode first. So to do this, you have to do shift setup and 4 for radial mode. So this will be in radial mode. And then we use a table now. We press mode 3 for table. And then our function is then sine x over x. So I'm going to use a function like then um, sine of x close move the cursor down then alpha x and then press equal it asks me where is the starting point the starting point is 1 alright the lower limit is 1 so ok then it asks me for upper limit in this case the end point or table in this case I'm, I need 2 and then ask me for the step. In this case, each step the width is 0 0.1. So I press 0 0.1. Then it gives me a table. So for this table, you see that when x equal to 1, the function is 8.4147. When x equal to 1.1, .1, the function is 8.41019. And when x equal to 1.2, the function is 7.7669. 9. Okay, so I'm going to use this to form a table. Which table will be looking like this? And after I've got a table, I fill up my table, which are all my table here, using the calculator. And then I can apply the Simpson rule. The Simpson rule in this case have to put the weight here. So I'm going to write the weight here. Now the weight in this case for the y in this case is 1. First point is 1. Then the odd position y is 4. Y is 0. Y 1. Even position is 2. Then odd position is 4 again. Then 2. Then 4. Then 2. Then 4. 2. For and the last one is 1. Now I'm going to use the statistical calculation to help me to evaluate the integral. So the integral for y dx here from a to b is equal to h over 3. So in this case, I should have y 0 plus y 10. Okay, they are all together 10 3. And all the all position y 4 y1 y3 y5 y7 and y9 and plus 2 all the even position y y2 y4 y6 y8 all right so basically what i mean that is this that this is my y zero right this is my y1 and the last one is my y10 so now I'm going to put in all this y and the weight into my calculator so I'm going to use the calculator again now this time I'm going to use statistical mode now mode 2 for stat then I use one variable now the frequency table appear so I'm going to enter the number y is low for us is 8 Y four one four seven. Then Y one is eight point one zero one eight. 
y2 is 7.7670 and then y3 is 7.4120 y5 is 7.0389 y5 is 6.6500 y6 is 6.2473 Y7 is 5.8300 And then Y9 is 4.9805 and y10 is 4.5465 then I'm going to move to the right for the frequency so go to the beginning the first number so the frequency is 1 then the next one will be 4 2 4 2 4 2 4 2 and then the last number frequency is 1 ok let me check again so the frequency in this case hold at correctly and 1 4 2 4 2 4 2 4 2 4 so this is 4 then 1. So I entered the frequency array. Now I want to find the sum. Okay, so I'm going to press AC, get out, shift 1 for stack, and then sum is 4. Then the second sum I'm looking at now 2. Equal, so I get 197.7986. So this is equal to H is equal to 0 0.1 over 3 197.0986 again 197.7986 so this one should be 7 7.986 so now I'm going to do a calculation again so this is let's go to the mode 1 so 197.7986 I'm going to times 0 0.1 and then divide by 3 which will give me 6.5933 this will give me 6.5933 so I copy 6.5933 is 6.5933 okay so this is the end of this example how to use a calculator to create a table and then use a statistical function to compute the sum and then eventually get the Simpson to answer